Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another TLEV Media video. We are here at Universal Studios Hollywood to do some construction update for both Halloween Horror Nights and for Super Nintendo World. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell. All right, why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing our HHN construction update right now with Universal Studios' normal construction as things are going very, very quick for Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, everything's starting to come in, lumber's coming in finally, and we already have a facade getting very close to being done now. Right here, as you can see, there's already a house, but it looks like it is an abandoned house. An abandoned house right here, as you can see, like the wood that are going around where the windows would be. So that is really cool to see. Uh, I don't think this brown color is going to be its final color. I think they're gonna probably paint it something. I would see, I would say by, you know, we see the color of the door right here, how it's white and like it's kind of like paint that's peeling off or wood that's peeling off. We'll probably see the same thing around this house. Um, that would, that would just make sense to me. Now we are here on April 15th and we actually have a version two of the HHN speculation from HN Nightmares right now. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit. Now this one right here, this maze, is, the speculation is still a original IP, or not an IP, an original maze, and that is Scarecrow. Now that is still the same thing over here. I don't know what the storyline is. It looks like it's an abandoned house. It's been taken over by something. It could be like an abandoned uh, farmhouse. I, like, not a barn, but like the actual house on a farm. And uh, yeah, I would be, in I'm, I'm intrigued by this. Um, if this is an original maze called Scarecrow, um, that actually might be one of the best mazes of 2022. Original mazes always do pretty well at this event. We had Pandora's Box the first time around, did really, really well. The second time, still good, but not as great. Um, but yes, yeah, Scarecrow, what do you guys think? You know, are we? Are you guys happy that there's an, another original maze that is coming to the event? Let us know in the comment section down below. And finally, now, we have the second tent forming over here at Curious George parking lot. Nothing's under it yet. As you can see, the pieces are there, so that means probably today, tomorrow, sometime coming in this next week, in this upcoming week, they're going to start putting the pieces down. Now, the speculations before the first version of the speculation map was that this was a weekend maze, or the weekend maze, um, based off of the artist The Weekend, but that has now changed. This, on the version two of the speculation map, is actually going to be American Werewolf in London. Now again, that is a maze that was here back in I believe 2013 or 2012. I can't remember the, the year for sure. If you guys want to let us know, you can let us know in the comment section down below. Um, it'll also probably be here on the video. And let us know if you walk through American Werewolf in London. I did not ever go through that. I know Josue and Thomas did, and they really enjoy that maze. I believe it's Thomas's, one of Thomas's favorites maze. Um, and so if they were to be coming to this event, I would be quite excited to see it. I've always heard that it's really good, and you know, I know it's a maze that they'll be bringing back. It's an IP um, that they've done already, but you know, if it was a good maze, I don't mind it coming back. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. All right, so we just got out of the new Super Nintendo World store that is right inside of the feature uh, store, and it's a lot of fun to look at. It's really cool to see because they really designed the inside. It looks like it's gonna be there for a while, probably until um, the land opens up. But yeah, it's gonna be there for some time. There's a lot of new merch. There's also a lot of the same merch from when they had the mini store inside of the big old Universal Studios store. So we'll put some of the clips right here for you guys to see the new stuff. But yeah, you should totally go check it out. It's some really, really cool stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now by the Parisian Courtyard to check on the facade for the speculated maze, La Llorona. 
Now, it is starting to look a lot like the old facade that we had, and you know, I'm very excited to see if this, la this maze does come to life. I uh, never got to do La Llorona, so that'd be really cool to do it. Um, it's very interesting to see that the entrance, you know, it's not in the middle of the tent, it's on to the side. That's because they're gonna be using this walkway right here for the line. Um, and so, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, that's what I'm guessing they're going to do. Last year, what they did is they actually used this entire area over here going to the left towards the Walking Dead as the line and using Despicable Me as the line for last year. I think that was due to COVID situations, but it looks like this year they will probably be going through down the middle of Parisian Square. That's what I'm thinking because the facade is not in the middle of the tent. That's it, it makes a little sense to me if that's what they're doing. Um, you can also see probably a little bit to, down below that there is some blocking too of uh, some more wood construction that is happening on the sides. So. You know, if this is in La Llorona, that'd be very interesting because this looks just like, or is beginning to look like the facade that we had before, which it looked like an older uh, cemetery-esque kind of thing with like a, the church, the older ruined church in the middle with the bells. Uh, and I'll put a picture right there for you guys to see. Uh, but yeah, this is really exciting to see because last time we were here, the facade was not starting. They did not go vertical with the facade. So it's good to see that they are starting to do that. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster right here. They are finally in the park together. Oh, and the bride sees us. She, she's gotta keep going as they have an old maze, an old home that used to be here. But yes, you can now meet both the bride and Frankenstein's monster. Oh, that is so cool to see. Oh, he's going through the, he's going through the roses. Oh, he wants a flower. Is he gonna grab one? No, he's just touching it. And there they are. Yeah, they're just walking around now. The bride is brand new and it's really good to see the bride. Oh man, just look at them. True love, for sure. Alrighty, and now to talk a little bit about the construction for Super Nintendo World. Guys, we got details going in, finally. So good to see. Uh, we actually, they're starting to do like the sand dune area um, right here, which is really cool to see. Uh, the details are going in, I'm really happy about that. Um, you know, they, it seems like they're putting the green framing around too. Finally, and it's looking good. It's looking really good. I like what, what I'm seeing right here um, You know the thing is with these like little green hills or green blocky parts right here is that there's actually going to be some characters on top of them um, Some animatronic ones, and that's gonna be really cool to see um, There will also be like little mini games that you can play there uh, with your power-up bracelets that you'll be able to like to hit sort of and You'll get some points that way, so that's gonna be awesome to see yeah, look, over here too, we have a mountain going up too. Um, it doesn't seem like Bowser's castle has been touched yet. Um, but yeah, they're starting to do the sides right now, which is really, really cool to see. What's also cool to see as well, some, a little bit of construction's happening for the mummy queue over here. Now, for the speculation map version number two, a little bit of things have changed for the speculation. It is not just the mummy anymore, no. It is actually the mummy versus the wolf man. That sounds really awesome. I mean, we kind of had something like that. We had Frankenstein's monster versus the wolf man, and that was really cool of a maze. The music was awesome. Oh yes, I forgot to say, music by Slash, of course, for this one. Um, and we did see that on one of Slash's Twitters, uh, I believe it was like Slash France or something like that, his, his French Twitter, they actually were talking about how he started to make music for Halloween Horror Nights. And of course we know that Slash has been working a lot on the Universal Monsters with Halloween Horror Nights. He did do uh, Clown Tasm once uh, when we had that maze, but... You know, Universal Monsters has been doing a lot for it. We're still waiting for the music though, Slash. We're still waiting for the last music to be released. Where is it? Where is it? Um, but anyways, so the facade hasn't changed as much. I did see a lot of you guys talking about how this is probably going to be the Mummy Museum, uh, the museum scene in the movie. Um, that does make some sense, actually, because it's a very square-esque shape. Uh, we have the windows right here. It seems like, you know, they're going with like an older themed window, uh, the arch windows. So, yeah. Again, 
not much has been touched to this facade just like you know not as much as back in the curious george tent the first tent so this is really cool to see i'm excited what do you guys think about uh, the mummy versus the wolfman. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. All right, and that's going to be it for my time here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It was a very packed day. It is Los Angeles County's last day of spring break, so very packed day. But it was still good to get all the construction for both Halloween Horror Nights and for Super Nintendo World. If you guys enjoy that, make sure to hit this like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time we post a new video. If you want to support the channel, you can do that at buymeacoffee.com. And also, you can follow all of our social medias at TLG Media all across the board. With that being said, my name is Mystery, and I'll see you guys on the next extraordinary adventure.